Good morning, Internet, and welcome back to the Happy Abyss. Uh, working on uh, Train the Tubes. The big generator set is built. Uh, I think I did that in the last video. I was doing the flip-flops, and then I redid this design. So all these generators are hooked together into the main industrial complex, and then they feed onto the little wires up here to all of the flip-flops. So real quick, oh, nice, hold on, real quick we gotta turn on, turn this down. This just liquefied, so let's set you to negative 200. So we just got enough super coolant, this has been rotating for a little bit, ooh, this is full too, nice. Yeah, so my last one just filled that up, so we don't need any more super coolant in here. Hold on, I need to start cooling off the hydrogen. There, and that gives me just a couple of extra packets. And you want to be negative, you know, typically start like negative 250 and then... No, if you're above. There we go. Alright, so let's look at the flip-flops real quick for those of you who haven't seen these before. Uh, important things on these power shutoffs, they work in line. So whether it's horizontal or vertical, what you can't do is this. Like doing that sometimes causes issues. So what you want is your power wires to either be going straight up into them or straight across them, then you have less issues. You also can't have the wires touching across here. So you have this circuit and this circuit, and then these two flip-flops, or the two power shutoffs, disconnect. So right now, these two are unplugged, so power is coming from the battery. When the automation flops over, these two turn on, those two turn off, and then the power comes from this battery. Where's one that's flipping? This one's probably flipping the most often. See, and I'm occasionally getting these spikes of it thinking there's a load, but there isn't. I wonder if it's because these are little wires. Yeah, I'm betting that's it. Okay, let's do this. Like, I occasionally th see a thing saying it's got too much power on it. I think it's because it sees this one little segment of wire as being in the circuit when it shouldn't be. So, that's my fault in the design. And let's see, where did I have another one? Uh, down here. Okay, perfect. They're now working on that. I turned off the tepidizer because this should now be warm enough in here. Okay, and as we just saw, liquid oxygen is starting to flow. So let's plan out liquid oxygen and second cargo rocket. Uh, let's see, we've been to these. These are just fullerene, which is good. This one has niobium, so I want to go there next. This one didn't have anything, and this one has isoresin and niobium. So I want to make sure I have a cargo rocket big enough, because it's only going to go to that second tier a couple of times. And then after that, it's going to head out to the third tier. That needs to be seven. And do I have, I don't have the liquid oxygen research done yet. That's the next, that should be getting done here soon. But all that should be at that height. Oh, I'm just, it's been a while since I've made these rockets. So that should be there. Okay. And I have people in jet suits, so screw it. Ah, 
I'm gonna get that working on that and we will start to queue up the plumbing. So I'm going to need a I think I want to do this probably like that. Should have, yeah, lots of ceramic. I always get this wrong in order to get this to flow around. I think I just need to do that and that. Deconstruct that. There, and then that way anything, when I first start flowing, these are only gonna be at one kilo. So I wanna make sure that they can rotate and send the other nine kilos back. Let's just extend this out. I know I'm going to have more rockets eventually. Right, how much steel do I have? Eh, enough. Okay, well, let's let the dupes build real quick and build up the liquid oxygen tank. It's doing that thing again where the insulated tiles have liquid falling on them, which then makes the temperature change fast. Which is just weird. I'm not entirely sure what that is. Oh, big scroll and... No, I actually do want another rancher. I do want to build a shovel ranch here soon. What? How did oxygen get in my hydrogen pipe? Have pipes crossed? Alright, I, I don't know how that happened. Apparently there's some oxygen in my hydrogen pipe. All right, well, eventually it'll get down there and burn off. Why are you not pumping? Oh, because there's just a layer of weird gas that's throwing off the pressure sensor. Okay. Ooh, space mission complete. Cargo rocket is back. And we're still getting plenty of fullerene. So yeah, we're good on that front. Weird. Anyway, how's my natural gas tank? That's still coming up. I tamed all of the gas geysers. So one, two, and three. Another vent over here. I gotta go see what that is. Still plenty of this map left to explore. I mean, you do get used to spaced out and the very small maps. Even the big one isn't that big. I mean, look at that big chunk I haven't even seen. Oh, there's another vent over here I haven't looked at. Eh, wonder how long that one's been there. Probably way too long and people have wondered what's in there. But right now we're digging up space. They'll get here when they get here. All right, now I got oxygen going all over the place. I might put in a second oxygen system just to feed this. I found oxygen in my pipes before and I don't know how that happened. But I mean, like, I guess it's like some of this moves out of the way. I don't know. But it looks okay now. Oh, you, we don't want feeding into that right now. There, that'll help. And 
I think that was helping feed the oxalite tank, but hopefully I won't need that anymore soon. Wow, just absolute direct hit. Every chunk of ladder. Alright, let's prioritize the protection up here so I don't have to fix the ladders all the damn time. This is all now down to negative 180, so we're starting to build up some oxygen. And we're just waiting on the dupes to build all the pipes. And you're back again. When is... Uh, another two cycles for the research rocket. We have most of this dug out. And I keep forgetting there's another whole oil biome over here. I, I don't see an oil well, though. Okay. Just more fossil, more lead. Useful stuff. Oh, and telescope is idle again. Alright, so what do we got way up here? Hydrogen planet. Oh, this is the tungsten planet. Sweet. Oh, that's even pretty good. 150. So we got a glid gilded. Yeah, gilded and a glimmering. Heck yeah. Alright, so we got some good long distance planets. Which is good. We're going to need the... Uh, Hydrogen. Let's start working this down to liquid form. There it is. Oh yeah, if we got a glittering planet, I might be building a hydrogen rocket here sooner rather than later. But I need that stabilized temperature-wise. Why doesn't... That's weird. Why... Why does liquid oxygen interact with insulated tiles and liquid hydrogen doesn't. That's weird. I'm just wondering if this flashes, if it's got to be liquid falling through gas. Like if it's got to be that type of interaction that makes it happen. Like this should be right there. I just saw it. Yeah, some of these are coming down. So it's when it's dripping. Weird. I don't know. All right, well, let's finally sucking out these. I put in a filter just in case oxygen makes it up into here. I don't want it to end up in my tanks. All right, that's done, that's done. I'm currently waiting on the research rocket so that I can finish the, that, I, <laughs> I'm that close and didn't quite get enough to get it done. Speaking of, there is my research rocket. Now I don't want it to launch because I want, I wanted to switch over to liquid oxygen and then I can reach here on the same tank. To 40,000. Because right now on oxalate it'd take 1100 kilograms, but on liquid oxygen it's only 800. So U, zero, deconstruct. U, 20. Yeah, I just hired a dupe. I don't need another one. Alright, so my dupe will get out of there. The research should be finished shortly. And then I can build a liquid tank once this piping is done. Come on, my jetpack dupes. While I'm waiting for my pipes to be finished, I put in the liquid tank here and then remember that that's got to make a jog. This one I realize I can just send to the second planet because I don't need 
to go there more than once. So let's just do that while it's still an oxalite and I still have oxalite left. So 450, 450, and we just want you to go there. And who knows, maybe I'll send it twice. I turned off the oxygen over to here. Doesn't even need the power anymore. I can start deconstructing this. I'm always so happy in the base game when I can get rid of the oxalite system. Oh, and they only loaded for 350 because of course they did. How are you doing? Now oh, we're getting a bit more. This, this temperature did come down, but it's not doing that same bounce thing like oxygen did. Oh, what did I do? Miss some pipe over here? Yes. Destination beyond reach. 450. Oh, I know why. I did my math wrong. That should be 600. I was already planning for liquid oxygen. How much oxalate did I end up with? Yeah, 4,000. That's good enough. Realized I was making this super long, but I want some hydrogen rockets to go long distance, so this isn't going to be tall enough. So we shrunk that down. We just got our second tile of liquid oxygen. I'm just double checking that everything is pointed correctly. You we were both set to the correct amount. 2820. Cross your fingers. Now yeah, this is all super cold. It's negative 200 in there. All right, and that's coming out correctly. And of course, it's going to take a while to fill up at one kilo a second, but that'll let the pipes cool down fast enough. All right, and you, we want to go there. Perfect. Come here. And I can hook up the automation wire again. I mean, with this coming out at negative 200, I probably don't even have to have it rotate for very long. We'll see what it comes back as. Hmm, idle. Oh, heck yeah, I got two glimmering planets. Oh, and that that's all the planets. Okay. What does it take to get to 150? 2,300 kilograms of fuel. So yeah, that is three fuel tanks. So I need three fuel tanks. Well, let's see, engine, oxidizer, one, two, three, cargo, research. Okay, so it does fit into this. I just want to move it down too. Nice. Now, can't do digging. I just, I can't stand dupes that can't dig. All right, that makes me happy. So next, I want a petroleum boiler. Instead of having my dupes do all that work up there, I think this area plumbs straight down into the magma. Yeah, this will be good. I just need to build this up. All right, so that will be next. This is done. Yeah, close enough. We'll get these rockets built, get this one converted over, and then petroleum boiler. I'm trying to figure out why my generators weren't running, and it's because of this. Let's deconstruct that. Put that in like that, and do that. Priority nine. I mean, this one can still run. There we go. It's 
It's not perfect, but it's because I'm pumping out all of that sour gas down there at the bottom. But luckily, all these generators are hooked together, so they're okay. Okay, we're up to there. Very nice. Oh, I'm all out of steel. Damn. Well, let's deconstruct the rest of this. We'll dig all that first. Okay, yeah, and all that, that caught up. Perfect. It was like, all these, all these batteries said turn on, and they weren't turning on. Ah, and that pressure is still coming up, so we're not even burning off all the natural gas. Usually natural gas vents don't provide a huge amount. But my base is still pretty efficient. I'm not into super power wasting mode yet. But I'm getting there. I mean, three aqua tuners will do that. And this is right on that edge. Yeah, that's still bouncing around. And as those drops fall, that's when the inflated tile changes. All right, well, let's get some fossil and make some more steel because apparently I'm gonna need it. Oh, and I need, you are set to three. Yes, but you aren't doing anything yet. Three and four. Okay, just wanna make sure I don't risk opening the doors. Well, my current set of liquid oxygen tanks are full. So we're now rotating and we're losing 60 degrees or gaining 60 degrees. But right here, we're going, we're picking up six. So we're not too far off. So yeah, let that rotate for a little bit. If I had more ceramic, I would have made it out of ceramic. And with me not finding much iso resin close by, I mean, my closest iso resin is here. I'm not gonna have a full boat of insulated anything for a long time. I'm also not making a huge amount of uh, then we'll read. All right, let's have a look what's over here. Oh, looks like my cargo rocket is back from tier two. God, once I can launch these, then I have infinite steel because I can go to the steel planets. We'll see how much niobium it came back with. Oh, now I'll swap it over to liquid anyway. Let's cancel you. There, now thinks I have steel. All right, 38 kilograms. Okay, there was some fullerene there. Nice. You, none, zero, well, de deconstruct at a nine. We want to go to 10,000. Oh, wrong engine. All right, looks like 250. Yeah, we'll go to this one for a while. Carbon dioxide geyser. Didn't I already have one of those? All right, we are now on full liquid oxygen mode and yeah, that, that just makes me happy. Uh, can I build a command module? No. All right. Once we deconstruct some of that, I can build a command module and launch that one. Is that this one over here? Yeah, carbon dioxide geyser. Okay. Is there another vent I hadn't looked at? Oh, this one over here. 
Let's look at this one. Also gets me a better view over in this side. Some free steel out of the printing pod and some deconstructing later. Uh, I need a rocket pilot. All the dupes I have not been doing much with. You can be a rocket pilot. Do I have a better one? You are Mechtronics. Meep's still a ways off. Lindsay is my other researcher. Not that I need it because research is uh, done. Oh, almost. Second Stinky definitely needs to get up to Rocket Pilot. Max is a Builder Digger. Yeah. Make the place look prettier and you are going to be the other rancher. So, Joshua, you are the big winner. And you want to go there. Ooh. What is this rocket called? Explorer 3. You point at Explorer 3. Oh, you need power. There we go. Oh, that I can also work on, but that is not as important. Yeah, all out. All right, we'll wait for some steel to get back, or to make some more, and then we can put in the shipping route. But he's not going to be back for a while. Ooh, buried object. Is that a leaky oil fisher? All right. So I have an oil well and a leaky oil fisher. I'm just trying to think of... I mean, leaky oil fishers don't produce a whole lot of oil, but they don't ever go dormant. I'm just wondering if I should do a small petroleum boiler up here off of this leaky oil fisher, because it already comes out pretty darn hot. Comes out at 300. So I only got to get it another 100 degrees or so, and three, 300 grams a second doesn't sound like much, but I'm not burning it in much of anything. We'll try that. I, I have never used a leaky oil fissure by itself for a petroleum boiler. That's something brand new. Oh, you, where are you? Joshua, operating. Missing ammo suit. No, I assign you. There's the Atmos suit. Yeah, with a bit of thermium, I can use an aqua tuner as a heat source. Of course, got hit on the way in. And that, nicely done. All right, how long is Joshua gonna take? Nine cycles. I'm, I'm having to think about this. Yeah, I'm thinking if I use an aqua tuner to cool down. I'm trying to think if I want to use a tepidizer, but it's so close to this steam vent that if I put in a petroleum boiler and use the aqua tuner to cool down the steam coming out of the steam vent. 
I mean, I probably still need a tepidizer just for when this goes dormant, which is in 14 cycles. I like it. Yeah, let me queue up. The problem with these is you can't open them until you're ready, but... Yeah, I mean, at 300 grams a second, I don't even think it needs to be that big. Like, the counterflow on it doesn't need to be big because the leaky oil is coming out hot. All right, I have to think about this. I'm thinking about how to regulate it, whether or not I even need to pump it. And I, I might not have to. As I was thinking about this, I also uh, looked at the time. So, yeah, we'll call that good for today. We are up to liquid oxygen, which is really... It's at this point in this game when it just gets so much better. Where are you going? Okay, you're going to the close one. Perfect. It, I mean, it just makes the rocket so much easier to deal with. And as I'm planning this out, the first thing you got to do is just dig out a big area. So that way you can work with the new design. But I'm thinking I'm just going to run the oil straight onto an aqua tuner that says get hot. So thank you very much for watching. I am, I, I think I've said this before and I'll say it again. I'm, I, I'm enjoying going back to the base game. I'm enjoying feeling the differences between Spaced Out and the base game and what it gives you. And there are definite, I mean, there's a reason why I've played this game as much as I have and why I make videos and why I'm assuming you all play the game and you enjoy it. It's good that they're bringing out new stuff and spaced out, but it definitely doesn't have the same feel of randomness and expansiveness that the base game has. Spaced out feels like you're more locked into that environment. So hopefully as they do more updates, they can improve on that. Hope you all have a wonderful day and we'll see you next time and see how this petroleum boiler turns out.